Hello Drones in School community, this is Tad Douse with Drones in School uh, here to talk to you about the new release of Velocidrone, the March 2023 release and how to set up your controller in this new version. So it's not a whole lot different than it was before but a couple little changes so we wanted to make a little tutorial for you. Uh, first of all, come into Velocidrone, uh, you're going to need your controller. We have our nice Emacs E8 controller here. Uh, make sure it's plugged into your computer and you do need to turn it on just having it plugged in is not enough you need to make sure you hold down the power button to turn that on that green light green ring should be around the power button so once you come in here the first time you have to set up the controller so you're going to go into the controller uh, menu that will bring up this nice cool looking menu with this uh, tbs mambo controller rendering on the screen first thing we're going to do is hit assign controller and on the uh, transmitter that's on the screen there it gives you some instructions on the display that says move a stick on the controller okay now it says mapped access display well what happened doesn't seem like anything happened nothing's really changing so what did that do well what that did is a signal went from your controller through the wire to your computer to say okay hey here's where the controller is and that's all it really did. If you want to see what that looks like, you can click on the show access button. And when you do that and you move the sticks around on your controller, you'll see that they have these uh, ranges called axis, axis one, two, three, four, that are going to move to correspond with the sticks on your controller. You also have the same thing for our switches. So our axis five, six, seven, and eight are all mapped there as well. All right. Now, what Velocidrone does is they designed this system uh, so it can work with any controller. So you don't have to have this controller. You could use any controller as long as it's compatible with Velocidrone, has the ability to plug in a USB cord, or it has some kind of dongle that would connect to your computer. Um, they, they don't really have the ability to plan for every radio that's out there or every one that's going to be developed. So they created this little system that automatically figures it out for you. So, Basically, right now, we've got our radio, our transmitter, plugged in the computer. It knows where it is, but it doesn't really know what to do with the signals yet. It knows there are signals coming in, but it has no idea what they're supposed to be mapped to. So the next thing we have to do is do that mapping, or what they call assigning the sticks. Now, when I click that button, again, on this Black Sheep um, radio, you're going to see some things pop up on the display to tell you what to do. So all you have to do is follow the instructions. You'll also see these sticks on the rendering. This model will move. You need to just do the same thing. So I'll show you. It's very simple. Hit assign sticks and we just keep going and follow along with the instructions. Now we center them. Now I'm going to slide that one over and then stop. I'm going to slide this one up and then stop. I'm going to go this way and stop and this way and stop it's going to tell me to center the sticks go move the roll stick right i'm going to move the pitch stick up move the yaw stick right and the throttle stick up now when that's all done i just want to check and sh and see here make sure everything's working i like to go through and just real slowly move the sticks and make sure that what is on the screen matches up i have had a few cases where it doesn't quite map properly and when i move the stick just a little bit it kind of wants to jump around on the screen so if that happens and it doesn't seem to work the way you thought it should and it doesn't really match up from what you're seeing in this um, digital display versus what's on the real controller all you have to do is just hit assign sticks again and go through the process until it works out the way you want it now last thing is a kind of an extra option you can do it's not required you don't really have to do this but there are other things you can control with your radio transmitter now we mentioned we've got these four axes here but we also have our switches that we can use as well so let's look at that if we click on the show axis button so I go to show axis right now none of these options are mapped to the switches so let's say i wanted to make this switch back here my arm switch all right pretty common for us to have that be our arm switch so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click arm motors and then i know because i flipped the switch that that is axis seven right 
So I'm going to click arm motors. It tells me select an axis button. So I just click on that and boom, now it's mapped it. So this is now my arm switch. Pretty simple. You can do that for the rest of the switches. Now keep in mind, you've only got three more switches that you can map. We only have an eight channel radio here with the Emax E8, but nonetheless, that would give me the ability to do something. So that gives me what I need to do. My sticks are working properly. I have that little drone model that I can check out, make sure everything's moving the right way. That all looks good. And I'm all set and ready to fly. So now I can go back into Velocidrone's main menu, select my single floor, select my nemesis mode, whatever it is I want to do, and start flying. So I hope that was helpful. Hope you have fun, get a lot of practice in, and have fun on the track.